Cardiovascular disease is the leading cause of death in American women, and that includes pregnant women. In fact, women in the United States have a higher risk of dying during pregnancy and right after pregnancy than women in any other industrialized nation. In this week's Your Best Life, 6 News anchor Leslie Draffin speaks with a cardiologist about why this disease is on the rise and what women can do to remain healthy. Dr. Jennifer Haith is a cardiologist and associate professor at Columbia University. She says a growing number of American women are dying during pregnancy. Our maternal mortality rate is rising and it's really, we're one of the few first world countries that has a rising maternal death rate and the leading cause is cardiovascular disease. According to a 2019 study by the CDC, about 700 women die each year in the U.S. from pregnancy related complications and about one third of those deaths are due to cardiovascular conditions. It's not a huge number, but the number is rising and if you think about the impact of that death, you know, this is a young mother who's dying. This is, you know, you've lost a parent for this child and the repercussions of that, you know, are immense. Dr. Haith says for pregnant women of color, death rates are three to five times higher. She believes systemic racism and the stress it causes could be to blame. Even if they controlled for, you know, obesity, diabetes, all the risk factors, as well as education, socioeconomic status, that black women still had a higher risk of poor outcomes or death even in pregnancy. And the only thing that separates them is race. Another reason for the growing mortality rate, increasing maternal age. Now most women are having children much later, including into their 40s. And so having the risk of having one of the cardiac risk factors goes up, right? So your chances of having hypertension, diabetes, high cholesterol, obesity, all of that increases as you age. Dr. Haith says the problem is symptoms of cardiovascular disease look a lot like regular pregnancy. So things like swelling in your feet, uh, shortness of breath, chest discomfort, trouble breathing. These are all things, unfortunately, that mimic regular pregnancy as well. So we have to really have women pay close attention to their bodies. If they feel something isn't right, they need to pay attention. And the danger isn't over after the baby's born. When the placenta is delivered, all of that blood volume that was ke kept in the placenta, which is a very vascularized structure, gets pushed back into the woman's body for the most part. And a healthy heart can manage that huge influx of volume. But a heart that's on the borderline or has other medical problems with it will start to fail in that scenario. So what can be done? Dr. Haith says education is the first tool. And the second is access to continuous health care and screenings throughout pregnancy. I think the fact that, that we're failing our pregnant women and that the rates of maternal mortality are rising is a reflection of the fact that we do have a very fractured healthcare system in many ways. And yes, if you have money and you're wealthy and you have your doctor and you're all plugged in, that's great and I'm, and I'm happy for you. But for people who have less and who you know are seen by different physicians every time they go or they're seen in a Medicaid clinic, you know that really, it, prevents good continuity of care. And so that is where I think, you know, these women fall through the cracks. Leslie Draffin reporting tonight. Dr. Haith says women need to take their symptoms seriously. And if they think they should see a specialist or a cardiologist, do take the initiative and certainly ask.